Decoding your GRE scores, what they really mean. Hello, English language learners and future graduate students. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of the GRE, specifically on how to interpret your official GRE scores. Knowing how to read and understand these scores is crucial for your next steps in the application process. Let's demystify this together. The GRE, or the Graduate Record Examination, is a standardized test commonly used for graduate school admissions in the U.S. and many other countries. It comprises three main sections, verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, and analytical writing. Verbal reasoning and quantitative reasoning scores range from 130 to 170, in one-point increments. Analytical writing scores range from 0 to 6, in half-point increments. This is subjective and depends on the programs and schools you are targeting. However, a general guideline is Verbal reasoning and quantitative reasoning. Most schools consider scores above 160 in each of these sections to be competitive. Analytical writing. A score of 4.5 or above is generally considered good. Remember, every program might have its specific requirements. Always research your target schools to understand their expectations better. Beyond the raw scores, you'll also receive a percentile ranking. This tells you the percentage of test takers who scored lower than you. For instance, if your verbal reasoning percentile ranking is 90%, it means you performed better than 90% of the people who took the test. Percentile rankings are vital as they provide context for your scores. A score of 160 in verbal reasoning might sound great, but if its percentile ranking is 85%, it means 15% of test takers scored the same or better than you. 1. Reflect on your performance. Did you meet, exceed, or fall short of your target scores? Knowing this helps set your next steps. 2. Research. Understand the score requirements of your target schools and see how your scores align. 3. Retake decision. If you believe you can significantly improve with another attempt, consider retaking the GRE. Ensure you have enough time for preparation and that it's well before your application deadlines. 4. Personal statement. If your scores aren't as high as you hoped, remember that many graduate programs consider other aspects of your application, such as your personal statement, recommendation letters, and experiences. Interpreting your GRE scores isn't just about the numbers but understanding what they signify in the broader context of your graduate school journey. Always look at the big picture. I hope this video sheds light on your official GRE scores, and I wish you all the best in your next steps. Keep learning and striving for your dreams.